An Otago University physicist has just returned to Dunedin from Antarctica, where she led a research project on sea ice. It's a collaborative project involving several institutions worldwide, and Associate Professor Pat Langhorn joins us to explain. Good evening. Good evening. Now, what was the purpose of this trip? Well, um, as you said, it was a joint project with an Australian group, uh, but it also involved a group from Belgium, and somebody from Japan, so it really was multinational. And we were all focused on looking at sea ice, frozen ocean, uh, mainly looking at it as a habitat for ice algae, oh, wow. which is a, something that is at the bottom of the food web. Mm. How long were you down there for? Well, we went south by icebreaker in mid-October, and that took about 14 days. And then we arrived and we were on station for about a month and came back just a few days ago. Mm. So, Now you've been to Antarctica before. Did you notice any uh, environmental changes this time around? Um, I have been to Antarctica before numerous times but to a different part of Antarctica. Mm. So I'm not so, I couldn't talk about the long-term changes or longer-term changes, I'm not actually that old, yeah. um, <laughs> over in the part of Antarctica we've just come back from. But you do notice changes. I've regularly visited McMurdo Sound, and I think, on a positive note, I think there's much better care of the environment now than there first was when I went south in 1985. Mm. Um, there has been a visit since Greenpeace since then, and uh, the place was really tidied up after that. Mm. Tell us about the importance of being able to monitor the ice shelves down there. All right, so ice shelves are bits of the ice cap, so ice that started on the land and then get pulled down so that it floats on the ocean. So it's connected, it's like a big massive floating glacier. And what happens is that these ice shelves are like a stopper in a, a bottle cork. Mm -hmm. They keep the ice on the land, on the land. If they break up, which they have done sometimes around Antarctica, then what happens is that the ice on the land flows down much faster than it did before. And that means that there is that ice is adding to the ocean and so it makes a difference to sea level and if all the ice on on the land in antarctica floated onto the ocean and melted then there would be 57 meters of sea level rise so it's in our interest to keep the ice shelves <laughs> where they are absolutely what are the possible global impacts if the sea ice does decay Apart right. from 57 metres. Oh, well, mm. all right. So sea ice is already floating. Mm -hmm. uh, it's frozen sea and it is floating. But it makes the ocean white. Now, the consequences of that are that it reflects heat back up to the atmosphere. So when there's a white cover on the ocean, less heat gets into the ocean than if when the sea ice melts, which it does every summer in Antarctica, and then it freezes again. So the consequences of all the sea ice melting all year is that the ocean will heat up much, much more rapidly. And that has big implications yeah. for ecosystems, for animals, for things that live in the ocean, and a huge influence, feedback on the climate. So it it makes the climate, um, it's going to make things warmer and stormier and change the winds. Okay, now you've yeah. recently received some additional major funding for this yes. project. What will that go towards? All right, so there's two things we're looking at. The, the main aim of the overall project is to feed information into a global climate model, a model that takes all the components of the climate and puts them all in a model and then runs it. And they're very big models and very complex. So what we are aiming to do is to do some work on sea ice, um, targeting two areas. We'll look at the interactions between ice shelves and sea ice. 
And we'll also look at the effect of ocean waves on sea ice. And we will be attempting to put input into the model so that then the model can run with these, uh, these parameters in. So they will have the effects of ice shelves and they'll have the effect of ocean waves in this big model. That's, that's what the money's for. Associate Professor Pat Langhorn, thank you very much for your time and Merry Christmas. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.